the cash flow. Alas, my love, our lass has a cedar, tall and slender. Sweet cowslip's grace is her nominative case, and she's of the feminine gender. Rorum, corum, sunt diborum, carum, scarum, diborum. A Greg, Mary, Jay, Terry, Wig, and Perry, Wig, and Perry, Wig, and Hat Band, Perry, Wig, and Hat Band. Hick, hock, horum, Jerry, diborum. Can I decline a nymph divine? Her voice has a flute, his dulces. Her oculus bright, her manus white. And soft when I tack it to her pulses. Rorum, corum, sunt diborum, herum, scarum, divo. Tag rag, merry, 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 and hat band, merry, wig and hat band. Hick, hock, horum, jenny, divo. Oh, how bella my puella, a kiss secula seculorum. If I'd lux her, she's my oxor. Oh, dies benedictorum, rorum corum sunt divorum, herum scarum divo. Tag rag, merry, dairy, tag rag, merry, berry, berry, wig and hat band, berry, wig and hat band. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Our program this evening will consist of two glees, one of which you've just heard, several catches of a varying nature, and one special treat from one of Henry Purcell's stage works. A certain amount of semi-libidinous preoccupation <laughs> may be noted in several of the following numbers. It wasn't that the Restoration composers invented sex. It was that they just couldn't stop talking about it. <laughs> Sir Walter, enjoying his damsel one night, he tickled and pleased her to so great a delight that she could not contain to the end of the matter, but in rapture cried out, Oh, sweet Sir Walter, oh, sweater swatter. <laughs> Sir Walter, enjoying his damsel one night, he tickled and pleased her to so great a delight Sir that she could Walter not contain to the end of the matter, but in rapture cried out, Oh, sweet Sir Walter, 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 but the sweet, 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 The next catch tells the story of a young man who seeks the assistance of a gypsy fortune teller. She tells him that he will have no success with his love. Later that evening, he finds out the gypsy fortune tellers can be wrong. <laughs> I'll tell my mother, my Jenny cries. 
And then a poor languishing lover dies. By my faith, I believe the gypsy lies, for all she is so grave and wise. She longs to be tickled. Oh, she longs to be tickled. I'll tell my mother, my Jenny cries, and then a poor languishing lover dies. By my faith, I, I believe the gypsy lies, for all she is so brave and wise. She longs to be tickled, to be tickled, to be tickled. She longs to be tickled, so she longs to be tickled. She longs to be tickled, to be tickled, to be tickled. She longs to be tickled. She longs to be tickled. She longs to be tickled, to be tickled, to be tickled. She longs to be tickled. Oh, she longs to be tickled. Strange news from the Rose Boys Never heard before, boys. Saint, upon a Sunday, he played away his clothes, boys. Never such a saint was there ever heard before, boys. Strange news from the Rose Boys, never heard before, boys. Saint, upon a Sunday, he played away his clothes, boys. Never such a saint was there ever heard before, boys. Catches must, by definition, be licentious. Restoration composers, too, had their moments of tenderness and sympathy for the plight of a betrayed lover. It is Amaryllis walking all alone, in her garden making moan for her Corydon, who left her in the grove, dying for love, like a poor distressed dove. And then she, with sighs and sobs and grievous groans, said, Farewell most sweet but unkind Corydon. Tis Amaryllis walking all alone in her garden making moan in her garden making moan for her Corydon that left in the Oh, no. 
Begins to crow. When the cock 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 begins to crow. When the embers, when the embers leave to glow, and the owl cries to it, to it, to it, to it, to it, to it, to it. When crickets do sing and mice roam about, when midnight bells ring, 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 ring to call the devout. When the Made the parlor clean. No water on the hearth is put, but, but all things in the at this juncture. The principle of hocket, a word which derives from the same source as hiccup, plays a large part in the composition of many catches. The effect of hocket is, is that by an ingenious juxtaposition of interjections and rests among the voices, a meaning is sometimes obtained 
which is quite different from the meaning to be derived from reading the poem straight through. To avoid any misunderstandings and or legal action, <laughs> we will read the text to the next song. Hodge told Sue he loved her as his life, and if she'd be kind, he would make her his wife, which tickled her fancy and kindled love's fire. Fond love did prevail, and he had his desire. Then left in the lurch again and again, with grief told her tale, but all was in vain. Hodge told Sue he loved her as his life, and if she'd be kind, he would make her his wife. Hodge, Hodge, Hodge. Hodge told Sue he would make her his wife, which tickled Hodge her fancy so and kindled her as life. And if she'd be kind, he would make her his wife. Hodge, tickled Hodge. her fancy, tickled Hodge. her fancy. Hodge told Sue he would make her his wife, which tickled her fancy and kindled her as life. And if she'd be kind, he would make her his wife. Hodge, tickled her tail. Tickled her tail, 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 t